Hello and welcome to this video on core data and in this video this is more of an extension of a previous video that I have already made which is named how to work with core data but in this video I'm going to hit on something that I did not on my previous video and that is how to change core data so I talked about how to save core data how to retrieve core data but in this video I'm also going to show you how to change or alter that core data. So if that is something you want to know how to do, then just keep watching and I will show you how in this video. So in order to be able to change some core data, we have to have some core data. Now, if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to work with core data yet, then that is the, tu the tutorial that I would encourage you to watch first, because when you're done with that tutorial, tutorial, you will be left with something like this. So first of all, you will have an um, entity named users with two attributes then you will have here in your view controller uh, methods for creating new users and you will also have a method for retrieving users so if you aren't on your own project right now and have those two in place or you're simply watching this in order to figure out how to do it then i would encourage you to first of all get this in place either by watching my tutorial or simply because you already have it so now I am going to comment out this section that works on saving new users. So I'm going to comment out this and only leave the context and the app delegate. And then here I am retrieving my user. So as you can see, I have now run this and I have said print username. So I'm looping through all of the data in the core data and then I'm checking for the username and I'm printing it out and then I'm left with this. Now, as I said, if you don't understand this, please refer back to my core data video. So now in this video, I'm just going to focus on, you are here, how do you change, for example, the username? So right now I am looping through all of the users. I'm checking if there is a value for the key username. If it is, I'm passing it to this constant. And then I can uh, really, I can, and then here I can change the username. So for example, if I want to add uh, the letter S to each username, I can do it like this. I simply say result or whatever you call the single result uh, from the NS managed object array. So result dot set object or set value. And then here you can set the new value. So I am simply going to say username plus S. So I'm going to add an S to each username for the key username. So here I have made a change and now all I have to do is I have to say, or I have to create one of these, do, and then catch. And then in here, I'm going to say try context.save. So here I am creating the new username or I'm changing the username. And then in order for this change to be permanent, I save it. And I do this with a do catch so that if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, then I'm going to catch the error right here. So now, now I'm going to launch the app and nothing is going to appear yet because I am not printing it out. But as you will see right now, I'm making the changes. And then the next time I launch it, I'm going to print out all of the usernames. So now it should be saved. And then here I'm going to now say print username. And if I now run it, I should have all of the usernames that I previously had only with an S on the end of the name. So let's see if that is indeed the case. So here and here you can see that is indeed the case. Now, let's say that I only wanted to change uh, mics and I want mics to be equal or I want to change mics username to uh, the cool one. In order to do that, I'm doing almost exactly the same. So if you now go back to what I did have, just like that, I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to write an if statement. So I'm going to say if username is equal to Mike's, then I'm going to do a change right here. And I am going to uh, change that to the cool one. And as you can see, it's not harder than that to change um, 
a specified user. You can also change a specified uh, password like this. You check for the username and if the username corresponds with the user that you want to change, you simply set the value for the key password. So if I now print them out again, print my users, see, let's do it like this, print users, username I mean, and if I now print this out, I shouldn't have Mike there anymore, but I should have the cool one instead. So let's check if that is indeed the case. So the app is launching and here I got the cool one instead of Mike. So that is how you change a, uh, a, uh, a, an item in your core data. You simply loop through it like you would have done if you were to retrieve it. You loop through it and then when you have the user that you want, you simply say that specified element, so result in my case, dot set value and then you just set the value and new so that's really how simple it is and then just say context.save in order to save the change so that's all there is to it thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it or it helped you in any way make sure that you click the subscribe button and then i will see you back in the next video